After moving from the second example, that is generation of signals and sequences. Now we are going ahead with example three, which discusses on operations on signals and sequences. What are those operations? Those are addition, multiplication, scaling, shifting, and folding operations on signals and sequences. Now, let us go to the screen to discuss about these things. Let's close the previous screens here, the previous example. Let us move to the new title, it is new window. Now, let me start writing it. The program that is operating on signals and sequences. I start with a command called CLC. In the C programming language, we use CLR, SCR, that is clear the screen. Here, CLC, it is utilized for clearing the screen. Similarly, this command can be utilized in commandment also. Yeah, well, in the previous program, we have seen these many things are in, have popped up in the command window. We can clean these things by having CLC here. Now let us go to the header window, start the programming. Very fast before going for operations, let us have fixed their ranges. I fix it from minus two to two, positive two. That is range is from minus two to two. But let me have, what is the range they are traveling from minus two to two? I mentioned here 0 0.01. That is minus two to two in the divisions of 0 0.01. I would like to maximize this program here to make you understand. Minus two to two time values in the range of 0 0.01 divisions. Now, x equals to sine of for writing the sine style signal for getting the op operations to pi ft is the signal notation, but for two pi ft in MATLAB, we should write two into pi, that is two asterisk pi, once again asterisk works as a int into in, in general language that is product of f one second product that is multi multiplied into t this is the formula 2 pi f t later let us have one more indication of x1 equals to x of transpose this particular command will be utilized in the coming this is a logical equation now let us have our own formula. Let us have some variables here. We define them x underscore sum for the purpose of addition operation x plus x semicolon. Next x. Most of the people do the wrong thing here by maintaining here x minus sum should be x underscore underscore pro or product or multiplication where it has x into x1 actually but keep in mind that it shall be always x dot because it is not guaranteed that the product values there is multiplication values that are obtained are always normal real numbers. They might be having that decimal values also for there is fraction values also for that purpose. We mention x dot. Next, we go towards x underscore scaling one SCA that equals to two into of x i have given two as a factor coefficient here 
for scaling purpose. Letter x underscore shift that equals to the value given here it is. I have taken 0 0.2 as a shifting value minus x. Shifting here, sorry for this one. Here it is 0 0.2 means the value is minus x means it is forward towards 0 0.2 values from the axis. Later x underscore folding is the operation that is given by minus x. These are the simple commands. First of all, I would like to go with the commands. I would like to have all the operations. How many operations given here? One, two, three, four, five. Okay, including, including the origin signal X. How many signals are going to become here? We have to give uh, display six signals. For that purpose, I utilize subplot for having all the signals in one window. Subplot of three comma two comma one. And plot of, you can see plot is a command utilized for displaying the values in a graphical continuous values t comma x. We know t values there and range of x values that is sinusoidal function. Now I mention after plot, we go ahead with the function called grid on. We have discussed in the previous program what is the main purpose of grid on. It is mainly useful for showing us the grids on the displayed waveform to differentiate the values from one value to the another value. Now I have to save it because only slightly save you star mark will be there, asterisk mark will be there. This asterisk mark indicates that program is unsaved. You can you should save it. Otherwise, if there is a power shortage or suddenly if the computer goes off on a task with the shutdown or restart or some bug, the program might not be saved. Once again, we have to save it. I will go with PRG3. Save it. I saved it. Now I am moving towards this one. Hit on title of What is it? Original signal. I go with single quotations. I mention it as original. Now, X label indicates the time factor. We indicate it with T. Next, Y label. We indicate the amplitude value. Here we can indicate it as X of function of x is the signal value that is amplitude of time t. Now I close this one. To show you how it works in the very beginning, I would like to execute this one. Let us see how any, if any errors will come. See now, only the original signal has been displayed here because I had to display all the other programs. I had to type, type down all the other instructions with respect to addition and all the other things. This one has been popped up original. Let us see what is the com command. Yes, this is some error here, serious error. Let me once again check this one and this one. This is called as typo error. You can see here on Y axis, nothing is available because I have typed down the wrong command here. Let us change this one. See, whenever we're doing some programs on MATLAB, most of the times there might not be some syntax errors, there might not be some logical errors, but we, some typo errors might be there that will lead us to having some outputs, but with warnings. This should be avoided 
by learning each and every command which are going to be used in a perfect and clear manner. Let me run now. Now you can see X of T here and T here. There is no error here. I have not got any sound here. It is automatically done, cleared because I have used a CLC here. The screen. This is how I utilize the very first version. Signal. Then I go to subplot of three to the two of position two of position two. Afterwards, for to separate these things, I will separate these things here in different parts. Very first subplot of that is original original. Next plot of once again t comma x. Rather than having t comma x, as we are going for addition, I have to select x underscore sum here. Later, once again the same command that is grid on such that we can differentiate between the values. Later, we type the same commands here. Rather, I will copy and paste for making it faster. I change it into different value here. I write it as addition. Now, I will go ahead with executing this so-called program. Now you can see original signal and its additional value. This is how the programs are carried out. For the purpose of making it easier, I have already typed on all the commands with respect to scaling, shifting, and folding also. Let, let me go to this program here. I have typed on all the values, all the programs here. You can look at it. Addition, multiplication, scale that is scaling shifted this is how i have already typed on all these programs up to folded that is three to five three to six this is are the positions three to one i said three by two means i am going to get have three rows and two columns sorry three as uh, three rows and two columns with Six positions. Let me run this program. Let us see if it is busy or what. Waiting for input. Look at this one. This is the output where we get six values. Original addition, multiplication. Original addition, multiplication, scaling, shifted value, shifted output. Next, this value. This is how it is seen, this particular entire input and output on one screen. You can see three rows and two columns, that is three by three by two. And their last one in subplot represents the position here. This is about the second program. That is the third example. Now, I think this third program has helped you a lot to understand the basic simulation using MATLAB. Later, we will go to one more example, which is very important in terms of the basic simulation, which is referred as convolution operation of the signals.